you guys and welcome back. If you're new, my name is Heather and I love sharing all-inclusive resort reviews with you guys. I am also a hairstylist and my husband is a travel advisor. We have three kids and we love bringing these videos to you guys, hoping to help you find the best resort possible for you and your family. Sometimes these resorts are good and sometimes they're not so good. So we're here to help you guys get the most bang for your buck, where to spend your hard earned money, show you the good, the bad, all the ins and outs of the resort. So if that sounds like your type of video, then definitely stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, give us a comment. And if you need any help with your travels, definitely hit us up. Our links are down below in the description box of how to get a hold of us. So let's jump into this video. So this time we are checking out the brand new Secrets Playa Blanca and Costa Mujeres. This resort just opened at the beginning of 2024 and has been getting so many rave reviews. We had to see what the buzz was all about. It's about a 45 minute drive from the Cancun airport and it is absolutely stunning you guys. I can't wait to break this hotel down and show you the features. It's very boho chic but it does have that Mexican culture feel to it at the same time. Very luxurious. The amenities here are absolutely stunning. So if this seems like your type of resort, then definitely stay tuned as I break it all down from the food, the rooms, the beach pools, everything I normally do with my resort videos. You were greeted with a glass of champagne and then we changed into our swimsuit since our room was not ready yet to start enjoying the property. As you can see, the trees are not fully lush and mature like some of the other resorts we have been to, but that's because it's new. It just opened. Give it a year or two if that's really important to you, and this resort will be absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's already beautiful. Now, normally, this is the part where I would fly my drone to show you the beauty of the property, but we were having some technical difficulties. So, luckily, they had this model to show us how the resort is laid out for you guys. Now, there's some parts that are not ready yet when we were personally there, but by July 2024, they should be all ready for you to enjoy, like the spa and the theater. Now, this resort is on the medium size, about 500 suites total. It's all nice and laid out in this horseshoe, so it's not hard to walk around. Very easy to navigate. If you are someone that's not looking for a huge, massive resort, this would be perfect for you. Let's start breaking down this property and let's start with the beach. The beach is why a lot of people tend to flock to Costa Mujeres during the summer months because it gets the least amount of seaweed out of anywhere around the Cancun area. And that's talking about Riviera Maya, Tulum, Playa del Carmen. It sits right across from Isla Mujeres, so it helps kind of act as a barrier. So this beach is absolutely stunning all year round. The colors are vibrant. I would say it's not the best for snorkeling. There's not much right here, but you can take an excursion right across to the island of Isla Mujeres to get some really good snorkeling. The beach was relatively calm, wasn't crazy bad with the waves, so we enjoyed it. They have tons of seating with palapas to give you that shade. It was just a really great beach. If that is important to you, you will love it here. They even take the time to manicure their beach, picking up the rocks and just making it look smooth and beautiful like this guy is doing right here, especially when they have their volleyball games going. We seen a wedding set up here while we were here. It was absolutely stunning. I love all the paths that you can maneuver to walk down to the beach and back up to the resort. I also forgot to catch a shot of the beach bar, but they do have a beach bar with swings. I'll show you a picture at the end of the video. Now we're going to move on to the rooms. We personally booked a preferred club junior suite ocean front room. Now with all of these rooms, they almost look identical. It doesn't matter if you book the standard or upgrade to a preferred ocean front room. They're going to look like this inside. The beds were super soft. I loved the bathroom, the tub. It just felt so luxurious in here. I personally am a fan of an open concept room. Some people may not like the bathroom being open. It does have the dividers. They're a little see-through, I'll show you in just a second. But I love how big it felt with keeping that open concept. So it's not really an issue for me, but I just wanted to point that out just in case you're traveling with a group of friends or your mom or siblings, you know, that might be an issue. It does come fully stocked. It came with bug spray. I mean, all these little amenities, just in case you forget something at home, toothpaste. But again, I just really loved the feel of this resort, that boho vibe. They said a lot of this is locally made, which is awesome. 
We'll talk more about the preferred club amenities in just a moment, but you do get this cute little bag if you book preferred. Now let's move out to my favorite part of this room, the balcony. No matter what room type you book here at Secrets Playa Blanca, you will get a balcony that looks like this. It may be in a different location, but you will get that soaking tub. You get the little couch. The views here, I, I mean, it's in a horseshoe, so no matter where you're at, it's gonna be beautiful. We loved coming out here at night. You could see downtown Cancun. You could see a cross over to Isla Mujeres. It was just gorgeous. Here's a few more amenities that come in the room. Your robes, slippers, safe. You get a couple goodies and treats up there and a stocked mini fridge. Not the best I've seen, but not the worst. And they do restock it for you. Moving on to pools. This is where my drone would come in handy, but we're gonna use this model. There are three different sections of pools. The first one is right at the front of the resort near the lobby called the Jungle Pool. Lots of lush vegetation, very private, serene, quiet. If you want quiet, this is a great pool to hang out with. They do have bolly beds that you can rent or some seating that's kind of scattered around. Really pretty features like the bridges and some of the big boulders. They do have a swim up bar. However, it wasn't open when we were there. Now let's move on towards the front near the ocean. This is the main pool with the swim up bar. They only have one swim up bar located on this entire property, which is kind of a downer for me personally because it does get pretty busy. However, it's beautiful, it's long, there's space to spread out, lots of loungers for everyone, and you get that ocean breeze. Right behind it is their activity pool, their entertainment pool. I will say I was a little let down with the entertainment that they had here and I'm not looking for party vibes but I love watching some fun games, having good music, especially the music here. I mean it was very blah and bland and just kind of techno-y, just beats, no words. They did have a few performances which were neat to see. But if they would play more music like when these guys were dancing, that's when people really came around and were really enjoying themselves. So they need to get a little bit of better music, maybe a few more games, and it would be awesome. For me personally, again, everybody's different. Now let's head on over to the Preferred Club. This is only available when you upgrade your room category to the Preferred Club status. You get a beautiful bar, as you just seen. You get this little lounge, which was kind of overhyped to me. They like to, you know, make it sound more fancy than it is. Just a few little treats you can come in here and get some air conditioning during the day if you get really hot which was kind of nice but mostly it was the bar service right here the cocktails were amazing be great with the service over here and the pool is absolutely stunning it's very quiet if you're, if you're wanting quiet laid back relaxing vibes no real music then this is a great option the jungle pool had this same vibe except this is right near the ocean and it's beautiful over here has a little bit more shade as well, so it's a great spot for taking a nap. You also get a private pool bar out on the beach for preferred guests only, but there's really not a big difference from the pool bar located on the opposite end of the beach that are for the non-preferred guests. And did the service over here impress me more than on the non-preferred side at the pool? Not really. The drinks kind of took the same amount of time to get to us. So most of the time we just went up and got our drinks ourselves. Now, in my opinion, is the preferred club worth the extra money? To me, with this particular resort, no. They're nice touches, but worth all that money you're going to spend. I would say save your money and use it at the spa or maybe on an excursion. There's a few perks that were nice, but were they worth the money? No, not in my opinion. Of course, everyone's opinion is different. Now with the butler situation, our butler, he was so nice. He was great, but was he an actual butler like we've had at other resorts? No, he's more of like a concierge. I would say my top three reasons to get the preferred is your room location, if that's important to you, your extra breakfast restaurant, which the buffet was kind of the same, and if you want that preferred club pool, the separate pool, just to give you an extra place to go and hang out. Moving on to food, let's start with breakfast. This is where you go if you are preferred. You get an extra restaurant only at breakfast time right here by the beach. Gorgeous, gorgeous scenery here. We did like coming out here and setting, but we felt like the food was just as equally as good at the buffet. So again, 
take that in consideration is it worth getting preferred just to get that one restaurant at breakfast because that's the only extra restaurant you'll get let's move on to the buffet we came here for breakfast the next morning this was a quick trip so we did hit up two restaurants every single night and everything here was amazing food wise we did not have one bad meal so if you are a foodie you will not be disappointed here Moving on from breakfast, another location you can go to is the coffee shop. We hit this up at night. I forgot to come early in the morning for breakfast, but they do have little scones and muffins, and they also have ice cream and little sandwiches, coffee. I love a resort that has a 24-hour coffee shop. Moving on to lunch. Where can you go for lunch? Oceana, gorgeous, located in the middle of the property. We wanted to give a real feedback on the food, so we ate so much, and everything was Again, amazing. How many times have I said that word in this video? Moving back over to the Seaside Grill, this is that place that only the preferred club can eat at breakfast, but at lunchtime, it's game for anybody. You don't have to be preferred to eat here for lunch and dinner. I loved it here. You were closer to the ocean. You got that breeze. Everything was amazing. My husband even tried octopus, which he said was good. I passed on that. You can order food by the pools. Another option for lunch. They also had this little pop-up grill um, several days where you can grab some protein, vegetables. Again, I mean, there's tons of options for food here. You will not go hungry. And I was very impressed with all the options they had for lunch here with how small or mid-sized the resort was. Now dinners, guys, you need to bring long pants. They will not let you wear a hat. They do have a dress code here, so make sure and check that out before you pack. We started with El Patio, which is their Mexican cuisine. Everything was great. Service was a little slow, but I did find out they had a wedding that night, so understandable, they were short staffed. The next night we hit up the French restaurant. I'm always excited to try a French onion soup. This particular restaurant was not my favorite, but it wasn't bad, it was just my least favorite. Again, we always have to hit up sushi, hibachi. I loved the restaurant here and how it was laid out with the decor. The chef was amazing with the presentation. Food was yummy, nothing bad to say about it. Portofino was their Italian restaurant. And surprisingly, this was my favorite out of the entire trip. And I'm not usually an Italian type of girl, but so good. I loved the presentation of everything. You just felt like you were in a very high-end restaurant in the city. The one restaurant we could not squeeze in was over at the Seaside Grill. It was gorgeous out here at night but we just didn't have time to squeeze it in. They we tried room service a couple of nights and it came quick, everything was tasty, and you don't have to be preferred to get room service here. Drinks, everything that I personally order, I enjoyed. I order Miami Vices, Blue Hawaiians, margaritas, lemon drop martinis. They even had at the Preferred Club one day, these little coconuts that they put some liquor in that were really good. Bloody Marys, also something not to skip on. So for me personally, I was very impressed by the drinks. Unfortunately, the entertainment for me was a letdown. Now I know their theater is still being built and they're putting their entertainment right out here by this lobby that's located in the center of the resort. It was just kind of dull for me here. Um, the shows were okay, not the best I've seen, but at least the resort was trying since their theater wasn't open. But I do think this will be improved. So if you're traveling from July 2024 and after, I believe the entertainment will get better. So I tried to keep this video super short for you. So that about wraps everything up from all the amenities offered here. This is an incredibly beautiful resort. I do think it's going to be a top contender from all the secrets resorts around the Cancun area. My husband did not want me to film him right there <laughs> if you were wondering why he was making that face. Again, this resort is perfect for those who like a laid back, chill vibe. Nothing too crazy or upbeat. No party vibes here whatsoever. No phone parties, anything like that. 
I know there's a lot of properties around the Cancun area over in Playa del Carmen, Riviera Maya, but this is definitely a great option in the summertime when they do tend to get more sargasm or seaweed as they like to call it because this area in Costa Mujeres gets very, very little seaweed in the summertime versus staying in Playa del Carmen or Riviera Maya. So if you're traveling in the summer and worried about seaweed, definitely check out Secrets Playa Blanca. So if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe and just remember we can book anywhere you want to go, whether it's international or domestic, cruises, the Caribbean, if you want to go to Greece, all the things we can do for you guys. So definitely hit us up. We try to find the very best prices for you guys. No price gouging, upcharging like some other TAs do. Just a small business that me and my husband have started. You can check out our Facebook page also. We share weekly deals. We also share real client reviews with their photos from their vacations and their feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching this channel and supporting me and my husband and my little family. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a great week and I can't wait to share the next video with you.